we'll take a look at the life of YNW Melly, a rapper who became famous overnight thanks to his smash single and a remarkable joint effort with Kanye West. His character became much more interesting after his arrest and imprisonment, particularly since his song Murder On My Mind had similarities to his actual events. At first, this boosted his popularity, but as time went on and Melly remained in jail without bail, the people lost interest. During this time, he released some respectable songs, but it was no match for the prodigious production of musicians like XXX Tentacion or Juice World. The trial itself, when it finally began, was full of drama but ended in a mistrial. Melly's position was overshadowed by the uncertain verdict, as well as the focus on other high-profile cases, such as those of Young Thug in the YSL case and FBG Duck. There were components in these other instances that kept the public interested, such as the Chicago drill culture heavily featured in FBG Duck's case and odd charges in Young Thug's trial, such as accusations of goat sacrifices. People became more frustrated and skeptical as cases like Tory Lanez's went on without being solved. When there wasn't a clear winner in these cases, even though the stakes were high, many people began to doubt the truth of the stories behind the shocking headlines. Because of this, the original excitement about following these trials started to fade. This drop in interest was clear in how Melly's case, which had been the main focus, faded into the background, making people wonder how much attention his second hearing would get. The change in public interest is similar to bigger changes in music and celebrities. There have been a lot of new artists and fans in the rap scene since Melly went to prison, so his story may not connect as strongly with those new artists and fans. Also, his music hasn't kept up with the changes in the business because it doesn't have any fresh hits. It's still not clear if he could get back to where he was in the music world, even if he were to be released. It's clear that people are tired of the court process in these high-profile cases. People often lose interest in trials over time because they take so long and have so many appeals and meetings. For example, Young Thug's repeated efforts to form a bond show this weariness. An audience that is interested and involved at first can slowly become uninterested. This is how many people feel about Melly's ongoing legal fights. On the other hand, some people are still interested in trials like YSL's, where every detail seems to interest a certain group of people. I, on the other hand, find the small details of these processes somewhat dull, like sitting through a long, boring lecture. I might rarely pay attention to big changes, but I'd rather wait for the final verdict than keep up with all the twists and turns. When you think about this situation, it makes you wonder about the music business right now and how it relates to law issues. The legal fights between YNW Melly, Young Thug, FBG Duck, and Tory Lanez show a unique part of modern celebrity culture. The artists' legal battles become as important to their story as their music. This trend isn't completely new, but it seems to have gotten bigger and stronger in the last few years. It's impossible to overstate how important social media and 24-hour news cycles are to this development. People are still interested in these stories because of the constant reports and guesses, but they are also making people tired. It's a double-edged sword. It keeps fans up to date, but it also leads to too much information, a lot of which is speculation or sensationalism that may reduce the effect of big events. The fact that other artists and actors are involved in these cases makes things even more complicated. For example, the fact that Kanye West was in Melly's songs made his case even more well-known. It's also hard to figure out how the different artists involved in the YSL and FBG Duck cases are connected to each other. In conclusion, the YNW Melly trial and other well-known music business cases show an interesting and complicated way that legal issues and celebrity culture are linked. The unique mix of legal drama, celebrity participation, and media coverage keeps people interested and tired at the same time. I'm interested in what you think about this. Do these ongoing trials make you tired in the same way, or do you find them interesting all the time? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.